breaking news now according to my source the run button has been extremely controversial over there at nrs now i am here to tell you that nrs will not be bringing back the run button because of this reason and the reason they won't be bringing it back is simply because of the large unbalanced gap that it created in mortal kombat x so we all loved mkx everybody got to enjoy it well let me correct myself you guys loved mkx and you guys got to enjoy it. I never got to enjoy it because by the time I returned to Mortal Kombat, MKX was done and MK11 was on its way out, so I didn't get a chance to enjoy it, but I did play it a few times. So to get to the point here is that it created such an unbalanced gap to the point people just dropped the game completely. And one of those people was me also, so I can speak on this perfectly. So basically, when you go online for the first time in MKX and you fight an experienced individual, you do not even get to play the game soon as the match start they run up to you beat the brakes off you they'll keep you in the air for a good minute and there's nothing you can do it's like unlimited pressure that was applied on the casual and at that point i was a little below a casual because i haven't played mortal kombat in ages at that point so i was intrigued because i knew i could learn the combos and learn and see how in depth and how layered the game was it was very layered that was very attractive to me but right out the gate i didn't even get a chance to enjoy the game so nrs fixed this problem which i appreciate them doing and they kind of found a middle ground when it came to the run button so when it comes to the run button they have decided to replace it with something we already know which is called wave dash but wave dash has a brand new system and it has been completely improved for for you to be able to get across the screen back and forth across the screen as fast as possible so in order for them to fix that unprecedented gap that they created with the run button they decided that they wanted to level everything out by including zoning and also making sure chip damage takes enough chip damage now you're probably wondering like what the heck does these things got to do with each other well if you're hiding all the way across the screen and another person is zoning you now you have to close the gap by making sure that you can get in to put hands and feet on that person and then if you are in front of a person they could beat the brakes off you and you can kind of you know fix that gap by jumping back to start some zoning or whatever the case is so they did an okay job with this in mk11 but as you can see it did not solve the problem by removing the run button it only made the problem worse because now zoning has become public enemy number one and once again i'm qualified to speak on this because i am one of the most toxic zoners in mk history with that being said i will play with cetrion and I would zone people with her rock throw, where she would throw rocks at you. If you jump in the air, I'm getting a smooth 50% damage off of you from a crushing blow uh, rock throw. If you try to run up on me, I'm going to throw the rock. It's going to, you're going to trip over it, whatever the case may be. If you get too close, I'm going to ground pound you to death. I'm going to dash backwards and I'm going to continue to spam you. So... I only spammed because there was a lack of combos in MK11. We all can agree on that. So people did a lot of things for a lot of reasons. Why? Because at the end of the day, we just wanted to survive and we made the best we could out the game. But the game became unfun for a lot of people. And the reason it became unfun for a lot of people because you only had one or two ways that you could play the game. You either could become a combo crackhead, which means you could perform the same combo over and over again, or you can become a zoner so it really divided a fan base instead of everybody having some type of neutral flowy back and forth you know back and forth gameplay so them introducing or reintroducing this wave dash feature is extremely huge now does this mean they will absolutely not return the run button no it does not mean that at all because the fans can go crazy tomorrow when the game come out and praise how good the game will be with a run button and then NRS can be like, all right, screw it. Let's go ahead and plant the input, the run button 
update the game it'll make sales go up this is what the fans want they won't be mad at us and then the game can be a hundred times better for example if they put out a patch right now to include a run button on mortal kombat 11 it probably would re-increase the uh life expectancy of the game it will make it into an, a totally different game based off having that one mechanic so just remember coming out the gate from what I hear so far, at the time of recording this video, there will be no run button, but your dash mechanic will play an extremely important part. It's gonna be extremely important across the board. You know, so if you don't know how to wave dash, you better learn how to wave dash, but this time you will be able to close a lot of gaps when it comes to things like that. Now, I'll give you an example of something that's been discussed with wave dashing and it may be changed in the final version i'll use sub-zero for example when you're doing a combo i'm told or if you're across the screen and you want to get closer excuse me if you want to get closer to your opponent and you're using sub-zero you tap forward two times and you hold on it and sub-zero shoots ice at the ground and it allows him to slide quickly across the ground to cover ground now that's what i've heard if that's actually going to make the game we won't know until we see gameplay footage or until it comes out but if you ask me it sounds damn good that each character will have a way to get across the floor and this is something similar that was shown in mortal kombat 11 you remember with uh our guy what's his name uh rain Rain had one where if he dashed backwards, he would kind of like slide on water. And I believe if you went forward, he would slide on water also or something like that. You can correct me in the comment section below. But hopefully they do decide to implement that feature with Sub-Zero where if you dash forward, he'll just shoot ice at the ground and kind of speed himself forward or whatever. That would be so cool and it would be so unique as for each character to have their own dash mechanics and stuff like that, you know? So, um... We're just gonna have to wait and see, but we do know they are provy to taking some features and making them unique for some characters. Now, the run button will be returning to a similar character, but we're gonna have to wait and see which character gets the opportunity of having the most powerful feature in the game. We know in MK11, um, Jade had the run feature, but she was able to run and then you can cancel it. It made Jade damn near unstoppable if you knew how to use her correctly and being the only person and on the planet that actually knew about this secret called running which i think running should be in every game because it's like come on dude running is something we all do how can we pretend it doesn't exist but when you're dealing with a game that's based on ninjas and things of that nature ninjas really don't run they just straight up fight it's a one-on-one -on -one duel so it makes sense in theory if we're looking at it from like the whole lore and ninja standpoint but as far as everything else we definitely know what the run feature is now to speak just a little bit more back on mkx to further prove this point mkx was widely considered as one of the best games of its generation in terms of combat mechanics and simply how it felt and how it played so a big reason why that was used that run button mechanic was used by forward dashing and pressing a block button and things of that nature running was effective to close the gaps on many enemies which really caught them off guard now if the players combine running with ducking it helped them avoid a ton of range attacks and that helped avoid chip damage so as you can see people was really out here using that run button running ducking at the same time so i call it rucking is what they was doing you know they could also counsel runs into tons of different options and even had access to running combos all of that added a layer of depth to the game and that's one of the reasons why the feature was so powerful it was so unstoppable do i personally think it should return yes give us back the run button i want all the smoke you know and if you're not going to include the run button then do what you're already doing in our s ed boom focus on that wave dashing but that wave dashing better be good and the gameplay better be good i understand that they want people to focus on the gameplay so that we can have got quality gameplay i want quality gameplay or whatever if you can manage to pull off quality gameplay people will never even worry for a second if the run button is there or not now also keep in mind they do have this new current generation of consoles that can keep up with all of these things as far as being able to keep up with how let's say uh being able to keep up with graphics frame rates and all of that other stuff 
and how good the game look i may be running would have been a problem for mk11 but then again i possibly can't say that because just look how like i said jade was running and i didn't see an issue with it at all but with this new mechanics i'm pretty sure they have more than enough equipment to make the game very interesting especially when you guys are able to see what they're going to do with environmental damage so i want you to keep that keep that close to you because that's another thing we're going to be touching on too you know so the fact that the run button is set to be replaced with a wave dash system system i should say to prevent unbalanced gameplay with noobs aka new people that pick up the controllers you know it just makes sense to me it makes sense from that point of view so you got to look at it from a business standpoint would you rather from a business standpoint gain more customers for the franchise and make more money by adding or i mean by removing the run button or would you cater to the hardcore mortal kombat fans and say screw the casuals by adding the run button that's question number one i want you to add to answer in the comment section below as mentioned when it comes to this i truly hope with this whole wave dashing feature that they're going to give everybody unique wave dashes. Sub Zeros sound the coolest so far. I don't know how they would do to others, except some people are fully explainable. Like, if you use a character like Sindel, Sindel can easily fly. She doesn't even need to touch the ground. Same thing with Air Mac. Air Mac can fly, he doesn't need to touch the ground. So, if you got Sub Zero shoot nice at the ground to slide across as his wave dash, it makes it look cool. It makes the game look cool. If he does it going front and does it going backwards, looks cool. You got a character like Sindel or Air Mac that can fly. So they can kind of, you know, dash forward and dash backwards as far as flying. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Scorpion, I'm not sure how you would do it with Scorpion. Maybe uh, He's a ninja, make him run. Same thing with Melina and uh, Kitana. So I guess it would be one of them things where maybe it would be hard to do it uniquely for a lot of people. But I guess for some characters, you can just give them a regular dash where they kind of jump forward or jump back, such as Sonya or Jax or something. And then some of these characters just have better wave damages. Now, I know you guys will probably be like, that'll be unfair if one character move faster than the other. Uh, you're kind of right. But then again, won't it make the game more interesting if each character plays uniquely and have their own strengths and their own weaknesses? I think that is something that will help people feel very unique when they pick a specific character or whatever. I know if Sub-Zero is able to slide forward and back with that ice, maybe I might pick Sub-Zero as a main for once because it just looks cool and everything you do with him probably will look cool and it kind of keeps you from looking like a freaking noob by dashing forward and dashing backwards or something like that just regularly by jumping forward and jumping back when it comes to a specific character you know now i'm told this is expected to be one of the biggest game re gameplay reveals ever and that Summerfest is going to be one of those things where it's just like all surrounded all surrounded by you all surrounded by mortal kombat 1 and it's looking like that's something that they're leading with where it's going to be the lead game at this point at least from what i'm hearing so real quick for those of you that don't know what wave dash is i want you to look here on your screen and this is basically a tutorial of how to do a wave dash and shout out to this person all credit goes to this uh gamer you can see his gamer tag at the top left corner so you see here on the screen scorpion's beginning to move faster and then he moves faster and faster this is what people had to do in mk11 in order for them to get back and forth across the screen so as i mentioned i'm glad that they're going to be taking a feature that was invented by the fans and making it more cooler and making it more acceptable across the board to where people can actually be able to enjoy it because they know they was out of pocket for not having a run button look at the distance between shao kong and scorpion in the beginning when it starts so you know um well not start because you do start a lot closer but look at that distance between them when they're so far apart you know and it's just like if one person can't run across the screen, the other can just spam. So it's very unbalanced, but it also tests your skill level for you to be able to close the gap between you and an opponent, basically. You know, so since the fans created this 
and it's going to be implemented into the new Mortal Kombat, I think I'm okay with it. I'm comfortable with it. Now, I would love to be wrong. I really would love to be wrong to the point where they add a run button right out the gate and this video becomes non-void. I would love for you guys to tell me if this video aged well or whatever the case is. I would love for a run button to be there. That's one thing I would love to be wrong about. But so far, I think adding this is just going to allow everything to kind of balance itself out because who really wants to get ran up on all day, every day? As soon as the match start, fight! And then they just running up on you, bing, 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 hitting you with that combo. Now you in the air, you getting juggled. You get up, you roll, they run into you again. Let's say you roll away from your opponent, right? Before you can even finish your roll, they done ran up on you again. And you ain't got no time to breathe or no time to think because at the end of the day, it's all about who faster on them sticks and who faster with their reaction. And if a person got more experience than you, then you're going to get rolled up and you're going to get smoked. You're going to get rolled up and smoked like a black wood with a nice QP in that mug. I'll tell you that much. But if you got a QP in your back wood, I, I don't know. Something wrong with you at that point. You may you may smoke more than Snoop at that point. But anyway, you see how we got Sub-Zero here on the screen, right? Just imagine him taking his left hand and shooting the ground with ice and just being able to slide right on over to you. That would be like mega dope. So again, the fact that they have so many options to make the game much cooler in MK1 and being able to still have the fans do what they want to do within the game, that's something that we all can really, uh, we all can really look out for. And real quick, I just want to take some time out to say, shout out to the mods for doing a fantastic job. Um, every single one of you, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys. You know, I also want to give a shout out to my boy Boxhead in the comment section. Uh, made him a mod recently. I'm gonna give a shout out to Steph, Street Combat, uh, Darkness. Give a shout out to Ice22. And anybody else that I may have forgotten, you know, there are a couple of names, Aniti and a few others, uh, Nick. All of you mods are fantastic. If I missed any of you, don't worry. You'll get your shout out over here in the comment box until the next video. Um, make sure you smash that like button, guys. Hitting the like button is absolutely free. And it keeps me inspired to upload more content for you guys. So at the end of the day, you guys are in control of the Wave Reports channel. So when I wake up and I look at these videos and they got over a hundred something likes on it, that's telling me that you like this content and that I need to keep making it. If you do not like the video, it's telling me you don't like this content and that I should stop making it. So go ahead and do me a favor, smash that like button, it's free. 100% free and if you guys want to unlock the next video then get this video to 200 likes 200 likes and I will drop the next video on you guys like an atomic bomb simple as that so again I want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below really really quickly what do you think should be in Mortal Kombat 1 would you prefer wave dashing or would you prefer running that's the question. That's got to be a tough question, too. I'm down for both. But if I could be greedy, I would say we should be able to have both. Like, just imagine being able to wave dash across the screen, beat the brakes off somebody, and then the other person is just running or whatever, you know? So, man, that's a good question. That could go either way for me. I would love to have both of those features. Wow, I would love to have both of those features. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. More videos are coming. I do want to inform you guys. I did plan on doing five videos a day, but I've been notified by YouTube that uploading too many videos is not a good idea. They only want you to upload at least three videos a day because guess what? If you upload more than three videos a day, they will not send your notifications. This has finally been confirmed by YouTube themselves. I got a message on my dashboard that told me my notifications for any videos over three will not be sent out to none of you guys. So make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications and be sure to check back on my channel frequently for recent uploads because if I do decide to upload five videos a day, I want you guys to be able to see those five videos a day. Simple as that, you know? So I want to keep it fair across the board. I look forward to sharing more content with you guys, but I'm going to need you to get me up the algorithm so they can make this channel a huge priority, and you can do that by smashing that like button. Also, I'm going to be dropping my Mortal Kombat 1 roster video as far as 
what we're going to be getting i think that's going to be great for you guys to enjoy that this is going to be a very unique and sporadic game across the board so you're going to see people that you did not expect to see or whatever so that's that or maybe i should keep that roster video and not drop the maybe i shouldn't drop the roster video until after the gameplay re, gameplay reveal uh trailer so let me know you want the roster video before or you want it after or should i just not do one at all and just kind of let the game continue to flow or whatever so uh that's basically that again you guys are super awesome more content coming your way make sure you answer that question in the comment section below because i will be reading it if you're watching this video for the first time make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily mortal kombat content thanks for watching catch you in the next one about to go to frames we outside in public baby peaceful luck and prince if they say it's something we ain't even shaking hands pull up where the beef and now they want to change the plans reason why they And it's all part of the plan Why she keep on calling? Cause she know I'm high demand So in love with me, I got her on command